Hi, welcome back to Rebecca's Travels. So, if you're watching my uh, lifestyle channel, hi, welcome back to Rebecca's Lifestyle. Hi, if you're new here to my channel, please subscribe and a big th a thumbs up and thank you for doing that. I really appreciate it. Last night, um, I went to um, counsellors, our local counsellors. Um, Michael Wyatt Steakhouse and um, I had um, a lovely um, chicken meal there and um, I had uh, some absolutely gorgeous um, homemade from, uh, fruit crum uh, crumble um, dessert um, and it was apple and cinnamon really enjoyed it really recommend it nice wine as well um, the scenery was nice i really loved the service and um, yes i would go there again and and i also went to um the snipstone and um had um a smirnoff ice um alco pop there and i really enjoyed it there um and gave some money to the armed forces charity um that the that the local pub um for that uh, for veterans um so i gave um some money to it to them in the charity box or the change that i had left over and yes i really enjoyed it um and um, there was also a dark uh, mac shirt going on there as well at the Stibson. Um Today I'm going to be doing Travel News UK 5 Exciting Facts June 2000, July 2023 Part 2. So um, I'm going to jump right into it with number one uh, from Express at co.uk. Um, it says at U UK coastal locations with the warmest waters is ideal place to take a dip this summer. Um, according according to Millix, um, it's Clacton on Sea in Essex at the beach and. Um, has the warmest waters um at uh, 18.2 um celsius and um, three out of a three quality sc score so wow that sounds exciting i would love to visit uh, the county essex properly uh, sometime um I would love to do it next year if po uh, possible um, as well as uh, go back to Cornwall where I haven't been since I was one year old um, but that's why I would like to go next year and uh, number two T TG travel industry T TG media dot com um, value for money is set to be the bigger bigger factor for uk tourists this summer than other markets uh, because uk is it's set for one of the highest inflations in western europe so a lot of people are going to be um wanting value for money and don't forget to check out out tomorrow's uh, budget travel vi video um for um the best uh, budget destinations uh, to travel to uh, july 2023 part one and um Number three, the Telegraph, England's answer to uh, Camine de Sia Santiago, but without the backpackers. Um, a man hopes to uh, reunite once um, England's most popular pilgrim route. 
the field wow it sounds exciting this um has five pilgrims but the region um so uh, quadrupled in numbers the new joiners were course at cautious and confident through the muddy Hertfordshire fields uh, was um, Andy Ball, the man who hopes to reunite um, what was one of England's most popular pilgrim, pilgrim routes. I hope that goes as well as possible and I hope it's um, reunited and uh, number four wine town teams up with road chef to launch its first super eight hotel wow in the uk this is according to breakingtravelnews.com today and um, announced um, the upcoming opening of super eight by wine town in chester east i hope it goes as well as possible for Road Chef and Windham and obviously Chester East. And last but not least, Expressed.co.uk. Um, the glorious UK beach that looks like Portugal in the Algarve won't disappoint. Um, a split spectacular Dorset beach is um, almost identical to Portugal's uh, Camillo beach according to travellers it is called uh, Dirdo Dor beach and it is one of the most photographed uh, coastal spots um, in the country because it's very unique arch and um, the similar arity um, with Camilla Beach um, in Portugal and um, is um, again a, a beautiful location in the Algarve at Lagos and um, it's clear uh, to tourists that uh, distinction rock formation but both have beautiful rock formation and also beautiful arch um, on the uh, in the sea so um, the both beaches look absolutely fantastic so if you can't get to Portugal this year and um, especially if you live near uh, or in Dorset or around uh, the south coast uh, then or considering a UK vacation um, or staycation and um, then um, the Dirdle Door Beach um, again could be one to go and visit whether it's um, a day trip or um, you decide to stay near there so I would like to say thank you for watching and bye for now and I'll see you tomorrow for a budget travel destination special and um, I hope everybody has a good day and night wherever you are in the world and um, if anybody is going on holiday or taking a day trip etc i hope uh, you have a wonderful time wherever you are in the world and uh, please let me know um, if you're taking a holiday or vacation anytime soon um, i'm always look at curious and love to know and i hope you have a happy holiday and or day trip thank you for now and i hope you have as good week as possible thank you bye